going on guys it's justin from the jb near back with another video so as you guys know right now city's on lockdown uh, but being a car guy i know there's no car events no car meets no car shows stuff like that uh, i still have to make some content and you know your boy's been craving a drive uh, today is the weekend it's sunday so i know a lot of car guys have been taking the cars out for a nice little cruise uh, the good thing is you don't have to step out of your car you can just drive drive wherever you have to go for a nice little drive and then drive back home so that's pretty much what we're doing uh, i'll be hitting out with my brother i'm taking out my mitsubishi lancer he's taking out the supra um, we'll be heading go grab some food so um, restaurants are closed as well you can't take well you can't dine in but what you can do is you could actually uh, take to-go orders so that's what we're gonna do uh, kind of want something asian food he wants boba so we found a spot called coco's cafe that i think we'll be going to uh, i had to call quite a few different restaurants um, just to see who's open because some of the hours changed uh, but yeah there's food over there as well as boba so i think that's where we're headed to super taking out the car so glad to take her out for a nice little drive again um, so i've actually taken the car out on night drives but with the sun out it's pretty nice for a nice little cruise again respecting social distancing we're not going to go to a restaurant all i'm going to be doing is staying in my car driving to pick up food picking up food and heading back home so we have my car over here looking good and then we also have the brother moving the supra out of the garage almost over here pretty much at west campus which is by ut if you guys are from austin you would know um, austin is popular because of the university of texas at austin we used to always come back here years ago uh but yeah there's some pretty good uh food spots too so like i said nice little cruise down here not too far away without any traffic um and we're gonna go get some food so coco's cafe is actually a taiwanese spot so like i said you get your good taiwanese food and you have some boba so unfortunately we can eat there but we're gonna hopefully find a nice spot right up front park there and uh get some to-go food so we just got over here to west campus and coco's cafe is right over here all right so we got a spot right out here the supra and then we have my car parked right there and like i said coco's cafe is right here if you're here at west campus there's tapioca house and there's coco's these two are like the go-to boba spot and we're in here right now like i said they have boba they also have food over here so i ordered ordered something over there the spicy beef noodles as well as the ground pork and beef so there's some pretty good food selection here dang as soon as we got here it freaking started raining oh man especially my brother supra he just washed it today literally just washed the car not even 24 hours ago it kind of sucks y'all got boba what do you get uh thai Thai tea. Thai milk tea. Nice. Yeah. So I didn't want to get boba because I just got boba like twice this week. And what did Marie get? Regular milk tea. Milk tea. Nice. So yeah, just waiting here on the food. You guys got food too? Yeah, we got food. What do you get? Uh, I got the pepper stick with rice. Pepper stick. Marie Ooh. got uh, bacon pork with rice. Oh, no. ah, that's the one I wanted. What did you get? I ordered ground pork, which is similar-ish. You got ground pork? Yeah. I think it's the same. That looks really food. good. Yeah, it's like pork belly. I was thinking like American bacon. I should look at the photo. My girl got spicy beef noodle, so pretty excited. Yeah, it's been a couple years since I had coco. I don't know. It's been a long time. When I used to come to UT to hang out with my friends, I would always just come to Coco's just because you have boba and your food. All right, we have our food here. Thank you. We got their food too. So yeah, we're just heading back to the car and i'm kind of scared of west campus because the roads number one are pretty crappy number two sometimes they put like a wheel clamp and that's definitely happened before so yeah <laughs> we're gonna get our food maybe snap a couple photos and get out of here all right so just heading back home right now like i said short little drive and of course for the 30 minutes i took my car out in the whole like two weeks it had to rain thankfully I have ceramic cone on the car, hopefully everything beats up and uh, pull right off. So the package is secured, I'm gonna start up, 
hit home, enjoy my food. And again, if you guys haven't seen it yet, my brother just recently put on some new custom license plates. He ordered it a while back, uh, but finally got to putting it on. And it says, Persevere. So we have the car back safely in the garage. Package is secure, we got our food. Uh, and while driving along West Campus, being low, I think I heard the car scrape pretty bad. So just came out here to check, make sure my splitter is doing fine. Part of that low life. So again, thankfully I don't daily the car because it's pretty low. To show you guys, here's my feet. That's the ground. Yeah, not much of a clearance. Uh, we measured it. I think I have three inch clearance from here to here. So not much at all. And I'm setting. I'm not on airbags or anything like that. Side profile, I don't think it's that bad. It doesn't look that low, but being static and pretty low, sometimes you get low car problems. Like I said, thankfully I have my daily. So yeah, my brother with the Supra is not back because he decided to go to the grocery store. So who says Supras can be grocery getters? And earlier, whenever we went to pick up food, like I said, it kind of poured for a little bit for about five minutes, but I guess you guys know having a black car it gets dirty really easily but because I ceramic coated the whole car you can see that just driving I mean you can see a little bit of water spots but all in all it's not bad at all yeah it's not bad at all you can't really see much water because the car is ceramic coated so if you guys want to see the full ceramic coat video Go to my how to installation or DIY uh, playlist on the channel. Like I said, every single thing that's done on the car since brand new is on the YouTube channel, um, including the whole process of ceramic coating. I did it myself. Um, if you take it to a shop, it could cost you thousands of dollars, but getting the kit myself, um, it was way cheaper. You can DIY it, just gonna spend one full day or one full weekend, you can knock it out. Um, so yeah, everything like I said, is on the YouTube channel for this car. Uh, for the Supra, everything will be on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, we recently did the BC Racing callover install. Make sure to check out that video. As well as picked up new AG wheels. Um, so we also do have installs coming for the Supra real soon. Um, we do have the Flywheel Motorsports wing that's coming in in a few days time. As well as HKS exhaust. So those two will be going on the Supra. Really exciting. And I know some of you guys have been waiting for this car to be turboed. So I know I've been, I don't want to say pushing it off, but I've been collecting parts to boost the car. Um, if I wanted to do it the easy way or quick way, uh, I could have just slapped, you know, the OEM Evo 10 or OEM Rally Art Turbo Kit on the car, um, which I didn't want to do since I'm going to go ahead and modify it. Might as well change out stuff like the intercooler, the blow valve, um, you know, intercooler piping, all that good stuff. Uh, so I also upgraded some stuff as well. Um, I also decided to do some small little, I guess, upgrades like the EVO 10 cams uh, that I'll be putting on the motor, uh, EVO 10 intake manifold, EVO 10 throttle body, uh, small stuff like that. So I'll be sure to make a full video. I'm still waiting on two more parts and then I pretty much almost have everything to boost the car. Um, as you guys know, with coronavirus going on, uh, a lot of shops are either closed or products have been pushed back. I'm hoping to make full use of the time to go ahead and boost this car. Um, it is a pretty complicated project and I am not a mechanic by trade, so I I guess you could say stuff, pretty straightforward stuff or simple bolt-ons I can do, but uh, I'm not sure if I can undertake this task. And a lot of my buddies are actually kind of busy right now as well, trying to stay home, quarantine. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the help I need. Uh, there's one guy who I really wanna to use to boost the car uh, by the name of Hiram Tuning. Uh, he's from Puerto Rico, so there are two guys in the Lancer game who is really good at tuning Lancers. One is Rick with Rally Inspired. I actually got my tune from him uh, when I'm NA before I got boosted. And then we also have Hiram, otherwise known as Hiram Tuning, uh, who is from Puerto Rico, who has a lot of experience in tuning Lancers as well, as well as Turbo Lancers. Um, so that's who I'm leaning towards. He could do the install as well as, well as tune it. But again, he's from Puerto Rico. I have to fly him from Puerto Rico to the US. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get that done. But again, with the whole coronavirus thing, I'm not sure if that's even possible. If we can let people from overseas fly in. Uh, if not, I might have to send it to a local shop here to do the install. And then I'll get him to tune it, maybe like a remote tune or something like that.
So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. I'm really excited to get the project started. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. We are pretty close already. Um, if you guys didn't know, I've been doing YouTube. I've been making videos for quite a while. Um, I started my first video back in June 2015. So it's been almost five years now that I've been putting out videos. I have almost a thousand videos on the YouTube channel. Um, so I've been working really hard making my uploads four times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. CST, Central Time. Um, so make sure to subscribe, it really helps the channel out a lot. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like the video. If you guys want to see more of this car, more of the Mark V Supra, or my DC5 RSX, make sure to subscribe because I do have more content coming, more exciting stuff to come. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.